Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super simple corner pin text animation. So to begin, I'm going to go into a brand new composition where I've already set up a text shape. So with the text shape set up, I'm going to press Control or Command full stop to open the quick add menu. And we're going to search for corner pin. Hit enter to create one of those. So how the corner pin works is the corner pin shape will deform any other shape or layer that is a child of it based on the position of these four nulls. With that in mind, I'm just going to move the corner pin shape to the bottom of the hierarchy so we can see what we're doing. Make sure that you've got snapping on and we're going to position these four nulls on the four corners of the text shape. This is where the snapping comes in handy because it will make sure that these are all in line. And now you can make the text shape a child of the corner pin. And as you can see, when we reposition these nulls now, the text animates along with the null. So let's just undo this and reset. Okay, so now I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna press Control or Command G to group. And I'm gonna rename this center. Then I'm going to select the group and I'm going to duplicate it using Control or Command D. We'll rename this one Upper. And we're just going to reposition these nulls above the previous ones. Making sure that the bottom two are in the same position as the top two of the center corner pin. And then we need to duplicate the center one again. Let's hide the top corner pin for now. And we're going to reposition this below the center corner pin. I'm sure it's all making sense soon. A little bit bigger. And then we're going to rename this lower. What we need to do now is we need to make the nulls from the center corner pin control the corner pins above and below it. To do this, we're going to open the center group. We're going to go to the top right null. Uh, we'll open the upper group as well. And we need to connect top right position Y to the bottom right position Y. And we're going to take top left position Y to the bottom left position Y also. Now we can close the upper group, open the lower group. And we're going to repeat this with the bottom right to the top right and bottom left to top left. So now I'm just going to hide the groups with the nulls for the upper and lower corner pins so that we can only see the center corner pins nulls. Let's quickly just change the backgrounds on each of the corner pins so that their color matches the background or you can remove the alpha, it's up to you. All it's left to do now is animate this, and we'll do this by adding keyframes to all of the position Y attributes of the center corner pins nulls. So I'm gonna select all of these on frame zero, and I'm just gonna click the keyframe on position Y of one of them, and that will add a keyframe to all four in one click. I'm now going to move to frame 20 and all we have to do is reposition the nulls in the viewport and this will automatically add keyframes in the time editor. So if I move these up here and I'll move the left ones down, you can see that we've now got four new keyframes here. We'll repeat this on frame 30, we'll sort of invert the previous animation. Obviously you can do whatever you like here. And then on frame 60, I'm going to select the first four keyframes and I'm going to alt click and drag or options click and drag if you're on Mac. Uh, and you'll see now that this will create a animation that will loop. But it's not very smooth. So we're also going to select all of the keyframes. We're going to right click magic easing and we're going to go for slow in, slow out. And now the animation's a bit smoother, but we also want it to loop. So I'm going to select all keyframes again. I'm going to right click and go to loop after. And we're going to select looping. And we're done. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more trick before we go. I connected the position Y of these four nulls to the upper and lower corner pins because I only wanted to animate on the Y axis. However, 
we can save a little bit of space in the scene tree and use the nulls from the center corner pin to completely control the upper and lower corner pins. To do this, I'm going to open the upper corner pin and I'm going to completely delete the bottom left and bottom right nulls. I'm going to open the corner pin shape and I'm going to drag in the top right and top left nulls to the empty fields on the upper corner pin. As you can see, this has now completely replaced that null and the scene still works. I'm just going to repeat this quickly with the lower, but this time it's going to be the top right and top left. We'll open the corner pin shape again and replace this now with the bottom left and bottom right. One more thing we can do is take the nulls from the upper and lower corner pins and place them in the same group as the center corner pin group and then delete the empty folders. We'll repeat this with the lower. And delete the empty group again. So what this has done is we've cleaned up the scene a little bit, but we've also made the scene less expensive. It's important to remember that you can use the same nodes to control multiple different layers within Cavalry. As always, feel free to request any tutorials you might want in the comments. We are always happy to help. Have fun experimenting with this. We love to see your animations. Thank you and goodbye.